going to spa land today. And even though it has the word spa in it, it's not like kind of the Western style spas where there's like a guy named Rahul who's gonna give you water with like lemon and lime essence in it while he massages your back. This is more like a gourmet bathhouse. So these are located everywhere in Korea. You can see them in tons of places, but they got different levels. We are going to the swankiest of all bathhouses in Korea. I don't know if it's Spaland. the swankiest, but it's it kind is. of like public swanky. Now there are two parts to every single Korean sauna. There's basically the Mokutong, which is the bathhouse area where you get naked and scrubbed down. And for obvious reasons, we can't film any of that because we can't show dicks on camera. But we will be bringing cameras into the Jimjabang, which I'm sure you've heard that phrase before. That is the co-ed part. And that part has a lot of cool places as well, like cold rooms and hot rooms. And let's not give We're it all show you away. What it's like. Okay, fast forward selector. Hey, hey, hey you, yeah you. You going to a bathhouse in Korea? You hitting a mobiltong? I want to show you something. Yeah, baby, this is my Mogyoktong supply kit. Now, when you go to Mogyoktong, you can just buy the stuff that they have available to you, but I like to bring my own, okay? It's gonna be a personal hair washing body experience. So I've got my shampoo and conditioner. I've got my body cream and my body wash. I've got lip balm, a hairbrush. I have my little toothbrush I can toss out and toothpaste. I also love doing hair packs when I'm there. And importantly, I am not doing hair dye, which is forbidden. I have a face mask. I also have all my deep cleansing foams and scrub -a bobs I got my cream for the end because you'll get really dried up. And after I soak in all the bathtubs, I'm gonna do some intensive deep shaving. I don't think the word deep and shaving should go together. I'm even gonna clip my toenails. I'm gonna clean my ears. These are little pre-packaged cute with little scoop ends. And very, very importantly, dun, 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 dun. it's my Italy towel, which is made in Korea. And we don't know why it's called Italy, but this is the towel that you use to scrub off all your disgusting dead skin. <laughs> All right, when you first enter any Jinjabang and Mogyotong, there's gonna be kind of like a little ledge area, and that's when you take your shoes off right away. And then you come on over here, and there's gonna be like a key, or maybe you'll get a receipt. In this case, we got a receipt with a number on it. That's gonna match your, just your shoe locker. Okay, so some people come here and they're like, how am I supposed to fit my stuff in here? Like, it's so tiny. You're just removing your shoes and entering the like dirt-free zone of wonderfulness. And then with the same number, it's gonna be matching inside the women's or men's locker room with a much larger locker where you can leave all your other stuff. This is also for payment. How cool is that? So after when you're paying for things inside of like the Jim Jong area or like a massage chair or whatever, they're just gonna scan it and then afterwards when you check out, you give them this key and then you pay for whatever you put on it. So be careful you don't give this to your kids. They go running around like charging up like bing su, bing su, bing su. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Super pro tip, they only give you two towels, always ask for an extra one. Unless you're a boy, in which case you get unlimited towels, which is super not fair. I know, infinite towel for boys. Infinite towel for boys. Oh my god, look at this, like... They're about to get naked, so I think we should, uh... Simon's in super nap mode. So, hi. coming? See you later, buddy. Come yeah. by yourself. The super hot ones. I can feel it. There's this one, and then there's that one. Simon doesn't match because he's a boy. He got a brown color. Yep. It looks like some kind of a um, brown poop. poop color. Oh, that was clever. It looked like some kind of a brown. <laughs> <laughs> we like that. Okay. And then you're basically going to roll the end like a pair of socks. Very refreshing, Isn't it? considering how exhausted I am from all the people. Right? That's not a chug and drink. <laughs> they super undiluted here. Like you're supposed to mix it with water. They mix it with very little water here, which is like high quality. <laughs> they mix it with other vinegar. <laughs> vinegar, mix it with vinegar, and we have ice. It's supposed to be really good for digestion. Yeah, I'm vinegar supposed to be amazing. My digestion is already pretty great, so I don't I'm know. not sure about that. All right, this is what I always call the gingerbread egg, which is totally not the correct name for it, but basically it's because it's a baked egg. You can see the color of it. You have this like kind of spots where it's brown here, and then it's like even, and so My the inside is totally cooked. My these eggs is a bit too overwhelming. It's an egg. It's really, eggs before. I like them. And it comes in little tiny salts. 
Hey Simon, we can do Polish tradition. On Easter, everybody wants to get in their own egg, and then they square up with each other, and then they hit the fronts of it. Only one egg will crack, and it becomes like a sweet 16 kind of elimination round. And the last person standing with an uncracked egg, if they eat that egg, they get a year of good luck. Now, Simon's a cheater, and he'll try to come at your eggs at an angle. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you gotta watch it. Because, like, my parents be like, Huzzah! What's that over there? Bam! Gotcha! <laughs> From the other side. Ready? Damn! <laughs> <laughs> it's a cheat! It's a cheat! One, two, three. Oh, That's never happened before. <laughs> That's not how you play the game. That was way too hard. This isn't supposed to be Hulk smash game. It's, it's supposed to be a light tap. So um, nobody has a year of good luck, is what you're saying. Oh. You don't like them? I don't either. Like rubbery and hard and not. They're terrible. Let me see if this one's any better. This is my nightmare here. Every single room is warm. I hate warm rooms. I love cold, brisk, fresh air. I don't like hot air like this. Let's go into the Roman room. 38.6. No. Uh, the Wave Dream Room. 39.7 degrees. Nope, 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 nope. Way too warm that I am leaving. The pyramid room at 54 degrees. It says no cell phone may cause explosion. Oh, I can't even step in there. That is nuts. The SEV room. Yes. Mm, nope, they're way too warm for me. Hammam room. Mm. Mm, nope, 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 nope. Everything here is too warm. I agree, just right. <laughs> this is also known as the temperature of our bedroom. Yes. <laughs> this is warmer than our bedroom. A room with air conditioning. It's only 19 degrees. It can go down to 18, and it should right now. <laughs> From the Busan and let them massage your bubble. So that's it for this week's So So Adventure Now Korea. It was a fantastic adventure. I wouldn't really call it wonderful, I call it all right. It was, all right, and okay. that, that ink, yes. is this the ink? I think the bigger problem with coming to a spa is that afterwards you're so like mellow and relaxed, you don't want to do anything afterwards. Well. But we're still going to be filming some videos since we are in Busan. So we'll see if we ever make it to our video tonight, because I go back to that massage chair. Otherwise, we also have a whole bunch of tips and tricks for your adventure to Spa Land or to any other Korean bathhouse. So make sure you click on the link here so you can read the blog post with all the necessary information you will need in order to enjoy your life at a Korean spa. I know it can be really overwhelming and a lot of people just skip it all together, but trust me, it's an awesome experience even right. if you're getting naked with your friends. How do you feel after your spa experience? I want to go back to that magician chair. 
Always good, always baby smooth and magical. And how do you feel after your spa experience, sir? Oh, why am I doing anything else? It's nap time. Come here, snuggle me. To my bosoms. I'm a good cuddler. I give off so much body warmth. You and me, let's do it. Get in my beard. Oh yeah. Arr.